Okay, I'm here to tell you that the bad moments are only gonna make you better. So, if we're talking about you maybe suffering from a lack of confidence, whether it be on the football pitch or just in life in general, or going through anxiety, everything is teaching you how to become better. Because on the flip side of that lack of confidence is ultimate confidence. On the lack of or or having anxiety on the, on the other side of it is being fear free, anxiety free. So everything in life is teaching us how to become better and how to become better versions of ourselves. It's just that we look at the bad moments as something that are basically catastrophic, but they're actually something that is there to help us grow and help us to become better people. Now, if you asking like wait how the hell does does he know this well basically let me tell you a story yes it's story time motherfucker so basically when i was in grade four grade four i was around nine to ten years old basically i had a speech impediment which is known as stuttering now a lot of famous people also suffer from it from like james Earl jones samuel l jackson they've also been stutterers and they are also examples of basically using that to become better. Because look at Samuel L. Jackson. Would you ever think in your life that he was a stutterer? When he's on camera, he looks extremely confident. He can play any role that he wants. And you wouldn't think that he was. And, well, for me, I was as well. Basically, for me, I wouldn't say it was on the worst level ever, but... I did struggle to say words that started with P, M, B, sometimes S. Basically, I would try to say the word like, and it would just literally be stuck. I couldn't just get it out. So that made me extremely fearful for communicating, talking, especially in large groups. Like if I'm talking to a person one on one, it's not a problem. But if I'm talking to a large group, like in school, we had to do a thing called basically orals which is like speeches and when i had to, had to do that it was the worst time ever for me because i just couldn't speak in front of people it was just completely honestly just fear inducing for me so i had to go to a speech therapist and basically learn how to talk properly like how like that it sounds weird but literally i had to learn how to talk properly so from there like throughout my school years especially like when i was in grade 12 which is the last year of our schooling system <clears throat> in south africa and basically i was around uh, 17 at that point so basically every time we had a speech i would literally put my hand up go for it. so when the teacher asked you know is there anyone who would like to volunteer with me i was like yeah i'm there because I wanted to basically get it over with as soon as, as possible and I knew that with me I was in the A class so I knew that if the smart people came before me it was going to make mine look like absolute dog shit so I was like you know what <laughs> let me just go first but basically besides that when I look back at it now I actually look back at it like it was me trying to get it over with as soon as possible but it was also me trying to fight the fear and to be able to actually talk in front of people comfortably. And for me, this is something that has hindered me a long time in my life. Like I'd even say up until last year, like now I feel more comfortable talking in groups, basically just communicating with people, saying stuff. But before I used to struggle a lot. And it's something that when I look back at it now, all those years were basically making me into what I am now. And it's the same thing with me with suffering from, you know, something like anxiety or, or OCD. Basically, it taught me things about myself and how to overcome certain things. Like, for example, this uh, stuttering taught me how to basically communicate better, be more vocal, make my voice louder, make my voice more, what can I say, engaging. And stuff like anxiety, OCD taught me how to, how to master my thoughts and basically control my mind and my emotions so everything teaches you something all of the bad moments teach you something about yourself to become better 
to grow as as a person and it's you just need to look at it that way so you need to look at it longer term like for example if you're going through something bad now like maybe financial trouble you you have to understand that it's teaching you something that basically it's teaching you maybe how to be better with your money or how to spend better or how to save better how to invest better there's always a lesson in everything it's just that at the time we hurting so much and we so frustrated that we can't actually see it but if you look deeper into it think about a more long term there's always a lesson in every bad moment it's just that we need to be able to have the vision to actually see it and when we do see it that's where we can improve from it